that one quickly i want to touch upon this and knowing your value the strength of knowing your value because i saw this article or i saw this clip also and i couldn't understand why schultz was so like surprised that he would turn this down so this is an article courtesy of business insider and it features this it says as headline mr b said he turned down one billion dollar deal for his youtube channel and associated companies and i think most of you have seen if you haven't please do check it out um i've said it before and here before yeah jesus christ I said it twice there i've said it on here before that i'm a big fan of Schultz's podcast more so than his actual stand-up i think his podcast is super entertaining if you can get past the excessive laughing and the hand slapping and all this kind of cringe stuff which is just more so a, a character trait of them as a group of friends you know how your group of friends you hang around if you have your thing that you do right like i don't know a way that you guys laugh a way that you guys ask each other you know indirect questions whatever there's a thing that friends do right um so i think that's their thing they're kind of laughing and trying to make each other laugh trying to make each other cry over over flipping bang and stuff whatever if you can get past all that the podcast is really good and they ask really good questions they dig in deep they get serious they get funny they get dumb it's cool i really like it i'm not going to lie and this interview they did with mr beast is nearly like four hours long it's really one of his one of the best they've done it helps because he's a youtuber so he knows how to perform he knows how to give answers he's obviously been in the media for a long time but overall i really do enjoy it and as again youtube is full of wankers right it's full of knobs like i don't know what happens and I'm, I, I say this with knowledge that i am soon if i keep doing what i'm doing that you know you never know what happened in the future i could be one of those people who have like a million something followers and i could also be somebody that somebody's making documentaries about oh i guess you know it was cool and now he's turning to a dickhead i know that could happen to me i know but there is something about these youtube waters once you start doing this often and maybe you start getting some money and some sponsors, I don't know what happens, but people just turn into cunts. I'm not sure what it is about this platform, but they always go from being a pretty decent, well-liked, you know, content creator to somehow then turning into an absolute animal. And for Mr. Beast to continue to be the guy that he is now, even though it feels like every other month or every six months, it feels like there's this new concerted effort on, especially on Twitter, to cancel him. I'm not sure what the reason is. People on Twitter don't really seem to like him a lot. I don't know why that is exactly. I'd love someone to ask him that question, actually. Why do you think Twitter doesn't like him? And um, it doesn't always go anywhere because, you know, he generally is a nice dude. He has no skeletons in his closet. He hasn't touched up kids. He's not someone that's overly aggressive sexually and stuff. He just seems to be a pretty decent dude. He likes to make cool videos, give away money, and help out his friends, blah, 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 blah. So all good. But when I saw this headline, I saw the clip, I legitimately thought this did, this wasn't even funny or that surprising. To offer somebody like Mr. Beast $1 billion for his YouTube channel and associated companies is, I think, one of the most, is the greatest lowball of all time. Has to be one of the greatest lowballs of all time to try, to pay only $1 billion. And the fact that he turned it down was obviously a good decision in the long run. But I think I heard something along the lines of, who told me this? I forgot where I heard it or maybe I read it. Someone along the lines of like his the, the stuff that does restaurants just the burger stuff that he does alone already makes him i don't know f somewhere between like 50 to 100 million or something stupid just the burgers so to make that amount of money on just selling burgers that for s everyone's been basically saying online aren't that amazing right the burgers are basically quite basic but you're mostly buying it to be you know a supporter of what mr beast does I know if you're like a super fan, but they're not, it's not like, you know, mind blowing burgers and he's importing a beef from fucking, you know, Japan or whatnot. It's just a regular burger presented in a different sort of way, different condiments, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But it does a job and that's already making millions. To do, to have that one thing make millions and then sell your YouTube channel and you have a company for one billion is not the great decision. And that also goes to prove that sometimes in general, we people, people in general we just tend to undervalue ourselves and it's only until somebody else comes in and basically makes you value what you have right that it makes you think oh maybe i've got something here because people are seeing it differently because for sure that venture capital ever offered him a billion was like as soon as they buy his channel and his youtube his companies for a billion they could flip them and remake their money back in a couple of days sometimes maybe in the same day if they were smart they could effectively do it so it was definitely a good decision for him to not do it because i think that would have been the worst decision he's ever done in his career to date 
Um, so this is courtesy of the Business Insider. It says YouTube uh, Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, said he received an offer of one billion dollars to take over his content empire, including his main channel, which has over a hundred million subscribers. But he turned it down. That's what I need to make as well. Just imagine what his main channel makes. Imagine what his main channel makes. Imagine what his main channel makes. So imagine taking that and just just throwing it away for a billion. No way. During an appearance of the flagrant episode on September 27th, um, host Andrew Schultz said he was shocked that Do Donaldson hadn't been offered the craziest check in history. He says, I have been offered a pretty crazy one. There's been people like, or not so much, term sheet, sorry, but people who would want to be able to afford it, a billion dollars if they could own the channel and the companies and stuff. The 24-year-old said, oh my God, Mr. Beast is 24 years old. I didn't know he was that young. He looks quite old for his age, doesn't he? Or, or am I being biased because I want him to be older? He's twenty-four years old. Holy shit! He's bawling out of control. Um, twenty-four years said he couldn't give any further details on who or where the offer came from, but it was a legitimate offer. Fragrance co-host asked Donaldson whether he had a price in mind for his channel, and he, uh, if he were to sell, he said it's so crazy I don't even want to say it because that's where I want to be. He says if we have a mobile game company and we get to hundred million people, say, um, he says he to and twenty thousand physical beast burgers and festivals in 220,000 sorry stores it would probably be like 10 to 20 billion which i still think is a low ball listening what he said already right if we get to 100 million people playing his mobile game if we get to a thousand physical beast burger um stores festivals to 20,000 places that'll be no it's worth more than that it's worth more than 20 to 10 to 20 billion 100 percent. definitely i would say more so in the 100 billion dollar sort of mark if you're going to take the whole empire because you have to imagine too people are people underestimate he's a youtuber so he has an actual um active incentivized engaged audience that like what he does he's not having to try and make and he's not having to go there and acquire new or, or you know new audiences or new users or whatever it may be it's people who are already part of the community who like their mr beast brand love everything that he does like him as a person his friends associated with it, his world his worldview blah 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 you saw the smile on the face i remember when he did the burger thing during the pandemic you could see this genuine smile and delight in people's faces when they went to go to support the burger thing not knowing that he was going to give them free food and free money but they're just generally there just happy to support the good the dudes are good sorry they saw it's like a you know that's like a personal friend of theirs so that whole act that whole community thing because you can think about it i've worked in startups before and people sell the data and people sometimes sell user bases right like of people from different companies from different companies that like they sell that stuff like that stuff is really really crucial so sometimes people will buy i think you've seen it with other apps before they will sometimes buy an app not because they like the idea but because they want the community of that particular app because they think they can sell other things to that community and i think that's the case with philippine and mr beast like 100 10 to 20 billion is not enough i don't think so maybe for one arm of what he does if, if someone offered him 10 billion or 20 billion for his youtube channel alone considering all the changes youtube does their terms of conditions and whatnot it probably it probably makes sound decision to maybe take that offer because you never know your youtube may go under or may not be as successful as it is in a few years if they change the algorithm or something but uh, 10 to 20 billion no way no way man he needs more way more i'd definitely go more so in a hundred billion dollar mark if it was me um it comes to it said in, in july inside the report that donaldson planned to hire a programmer to create a mobile strategy game for ios and android donaldson's one of the most popular highest paid creators on youtube and is known for stunts like turning a backyard into a ball pit and giving away a million dollars but only giving people one minute to spend it he's given away everything from an island to luxury cars to millions in cash but his rise to fame has not been about controversy last year a group of former employees told new york that donaldson created a hostile working environment and that his demeanor changed when the cameras went around yeah 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 but what did what do you expect do you expect to, you honestly expect somebody that has this amount of fans just standing around looking at him to be somewhat kind and cool at workplace i don't know like i always think to myself whenever i apply for a job somewhere where they've got an incredible the large user base look even security guard is taking pictures look there can you see that guy there's a security guard there in the back taking pictures of the dude so clearly he's a big deal. I've always, but I've always been under the clear idea that if I applied for a role in a really big company, 
uh, or a company that had you know a really big user base that most likely than not either either the customers are going to be pricks and cunts and annoying or the owners were going to be it's just part of the work working with somebody that operated on that kind of level it just is what it is if you want to work with somebody who's nice go work at a fucking fruit stand in your local market in it you don't think a YouTuber that's commanding that sort of money is going to be a nice guy that gives you pats on the back and brings you a fucking muffin on your birthday. That isn't going to happen. So people who complain about that sort of stuff, just, if anything, they just expose that maybe they weren't right for that space, which is fine as well. It's not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, big up Mr. Beast, big up Mr. Beast for turning it down. Smart decision you've ever made, mate. What have been saying in the chat? Um, they're saying, yeah, take a look at the whole H3 dude. He used to talk a way more different dudes are fake clown. Yeah, true. Um, H3, I'm familiar with a little bit. I had to give up for a bell while because I find him incredibly, he's like kind of like Wings of Redemption. He kind of brings my mood down. He's super negative. He's a bit, you know, I don't know. He's not for me personally. And he's a flipping turbo dork as well. So I'm not a really big fan of those kind of dudes. 